Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the iRobot Roomba 980. Hey everyone, just a quick update. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I have started physical therapy. I am uh, doing a little bit of pain management stuff regarding my herniated discs. So hopefully we'll be back to normal soon, although we're not quite there yet, but little by little we'll be getting there. My name is Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this channel, first let me begin by welcoming you. We predominantly do tech reviews, a little bit of vlogs here and there, uh, but I do want to welcome you to the channel, and if you like what you're hearing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Roomba 980. You might be asking yourself, whoa, this thing is expensive, and, and yeah, it is expensive, but is it worth it? I can tell you right now, you don't even need to watch the rest of the video. Yes, it's worth it. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. But if you want to know a little bit more, stick around. My love affair with robots and things like that had actually started in uh, the early 90s. My grandmother actually gave me the first edition Ibo from Sony. And, and since then, I've, I've really enjoyed um, uh, tinkering with them and playing with them and things like that. In 2002, iRobot announced their... Roomba, which was supposed to uh, change the way that vacuuming would be done forever. Now, if you have a dog or a child that's very messy or you hate cleaning or maybe you just have difficulty cleaning, this thing is an absolute must have. What makes it so great is it has a lot of amazing features. So let's get into it. So what's great about the 980 version as compared to some of the other versions is uh, the, the uh, easeability or usability. It's fantastic because you don't need to start it yourself and stop it yourself. It will automatically through a scheduled cleaning start cleaning itself and if it's run out of battery life it will go back to its charger. It will charge itself and then will restart again from where it left off. The Roomba has cliff avoidance, so it will automatically stop when it uh, notices a stair. So that way you don't have to worry about it uh, killing itself. I've actually seen some videos of Roomba committing suicide, but that's because their sensors were uh, were covered. And so unfortunately, they were not able uh, they weren't able to sense the stairwell. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I have major meltdowns if I know someone's going to be coming to the house. And of course, if I know my house is trash, then I'm not a happy camper at all. So with this, I can be out and about doing my chores, doing my errands, uh, can be at work. All I have to do is open up my smartphone, turn on the app, click clean on the, on the Roomba app, and, and I'm good to go. And I know that I can come home. And at the very least, the floors will be clean. Now, when you purchase the Roomba 980, it comes with uh, with two lighthouses, and these lighthouses act as like virtual walls. So it allows you to uh, decide where you want to clean, or maybe to block off a certain area. Uh, that actually, the piece of furniture that you see behind me is an antique, and unfortunately, it's the the sizing is a little weird. So the Roomba does like to try and sneak under there. I just use one of those lighthouses in front of it, then that way it won't uh, won't get caught underneath it. So if you want to block off an area, no problem. Or if you have pets and you want to block off the food, very easy. Now the Roomba 980 has gone down in price. Um, I do actually think it's a steal at $700 and I can't imagine being a pet owner without it. Um, it just has so many wonderful features and honestly just knowing that you can uh, you know, vacuum your house on a click of a button and, and you might be saying to yourself, well is it strong enough? Yes, it is strong enough. The app is great because I can tell my Roomba when I want to clean and when I don't want to clean, but it's also great because it gives me guidelines for maintenance. It'll tell me when maintenance is due or when I need to change out certain parts or clean certain areas. Um, and it's, it's absolutely easy to use and I, I really enjoy having it. Um, if you don't own one or don't currently own one, you'll find yourself in the first maybe few months actually just watching it watching it just like you would any of your pets because it's pretty amazing the way it works it is absolutely one of my favorite tech items it might not be that cool but honestly like if you own your own home or you live alone um it's like it's a must-have so is irobots roomba 980 worth it you bet it is 
All right, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon.